Is this really a thing? This is a, a Reddit discussion about people that are wearing pajamas out in public? <laughs> it, I, I mean, sometimes, occasionally, oh. I wear my, you know, those pants that I have faster, those sea creature pants? Yeah, yeah. Roxanne those... has a pair of, like, flannel pajama pants. Once every quarter, she'll wear them to work. Why are they called sea creature pants? Pants. Because they have narwhals and dolphins yeah, and it's whales been, and stuff. Oh, oh, oh so it's the pajamas. design. All right. Yeah. So you, has, you've uh, got sea creatures on the pants. Yeah. Just a couple of octopuses, if you like. My kids close. want some silk pajamas literally to wear out because one of their most favorite soccer players, he is known for wearing silk pajamas everywhere he goes. Who's like that? Part, this guy named Holland, H A A L A N D. If you look up Holland in pajamas, <laughs> he collects silk pajamas, right. and he'll go to a party, he'll go to an event, he'll go to a, an award ceremony, and he will wear silk pajamas everywhere he goes. Yeah, well, I find that very inspiring. There's mm-hmm. this Reddit post, and it's the headline is, Wearing pajamas out in public is weird and gross and shouldn't be normalized as it is in the U.S., so there's this normalization. He's in England now. And more and more people, I guess, are wearing pajamas out in public. Yeah, Froggy, this isn't about like multimillionaire soccer players. This is like people who are shopping in the mall at 2 p.m. Oh, okay. Like and you're wearing flannel pajamas? Yes. I would, listen. MJ, who cares? It's comfortable. I would be in pajamas all the time. Long you, flannel pajamas, pair of Crocs and a t-shirt. It feels publicly that is, acceptable. That is the uniform. <laughs> Or like silk pajamas. Oh, my gosh. Because you feel comfy and luxurious at the same time. Oh, you know what you're doing. You're like Thurston Howell or something. <laughs> yeah. Like silk pajamas. Uh-huh. And, and fluffy slippers. You remember the famous uh, saying I told you last week? You never heard. What's that? When you're doing real good in life? No, when you're doing real well. Oh, wh- yeah, I heard when, that. No, when you're doing real well in no, life. We, Say it, we, It was something like, something about, we, something silk Around here, but it was offensive. It was no. You're farting through silk. Just yes, yes, silk. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wh- see, wh- I knew it. I knew it. Froggy. I wasn't. Gonna... So that means you're doing really well. <laughs> Come on, Froggy. It's it's seven oh six in the morning. People it's, are eating it's egos. Just a, it's just a saying. It's an expression. It's an expression. I don't want to hear you say that you're doing good for good fortune. <laughs> for farting good fortune. through silk. Come yes. on. <laughs> Um, uh, you know, we ought to go tooting through silk. Yeah, that we, we ought to we ought to go to phones here quickly and maybe ask folks: Are you seeing an uptick on people out in pajamas? I think I am. Like at Publix, I see people in pajamas. Yeah. Who was the mobster up in New York that tried to pretend he was crazy to avoid federal prosecution? Uh, Vinny the Chin. Was it Vinny the Chin or was it Sammy Chigante. the Bull? Gro- who? Which one was it? Vinny the Chin. He mobster was the... pajamas. Which one? Was, oh, Vi- Vi- yeah, Vinny the Chin. I'm crazy. I'm wearing a robe. Yeah, you're right. Vinny the Chin Gigante. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, smart he, move. He, he might or might not have some relatives in town. So, um, yeah, Vinny the Chin Gigante. Yeah, part of the uh, Genovese crime family. And, yeah, he would walk around like uh, like Manhattan in pajamas, like uh, in a trance, like pretending he was yeah. crazy or something. I have, like, yeah. four or five pair of, like, flannel long pajama pants. Yeah, me too. I'd you know, wear them every day uh, let me Let me go to phones here. Let, let's grab a couple of early calls here on pajamas. And, folks, are you noticing this trend? This is a whole Reddit thread. I mean, if I went through this whole thread and all the comments, I would still be going to page 3,712 for comments, page 307,000, whatever. I mean, this was such a discussion. Have you noticed an uptick or are you seeing people out in public in pajamas? 800 1047 800-990-1047. Have you ever said anything to anyone? Any kind of rude, snide comment? I'm sure you would if you ha- saw it. Have you, like, looked at them and you, you didn't need to say something that your look just said at all? All right, let's go to the early pajamas out in public phones here on the MJ Morning Show. 800-990-1047. Look at the phones have exploded. Hey, Jody's in uh, Polk City. Jo- uh, Jody, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Hi, I just wanted to comment that whenever I drop my daughter off to high school, it is everywhere. Everybody's wearing their It's it's crazy. Jody, why are kids allowed to wear pajamas to school? Isn't that a violation of the dress code? It is, but who can tell what pajamas and what pants? I mean, you, I, you know, there's so many of them doing it. My guess is that they're not violating them because they're 
you know, questionable. So is it a fashion thing, Jody, or is it a lazy thing? Um, I think comfort and um, I think lazy late days as well. I have uh, my daughter sometimes. She usually dresses up for school some days. She'll just wear jammies and a t-shirt. And you're out in Polk County, right? <laughs> and so this this is a big Polk County problem as well. Yes. So when you drop your daughter off at high school, right? Yes. How many kids will you see with pajamas on? Um, I'd say probably a quarter of the kids. I twenty five percent of the kids are wearing pajamas. Dude, we have a bus. Yeah, walking to school. I'm telling you, this morning walking to school, I saw uh, yellow flannel jammies. On a, on a kid walking to school this morning. Uh, it's dropping off. Same thing. All right, Jody, thanks for the call. Thanks for listening and checking in. Marianne's in Clearwater. Marianne, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Good morning. I wanted to uh, comment. Um, I teach high school, and uh, at least 40% of the kids are in pajama bottoms every day. Holy crap, I got 25% at the school in Polk County. Now Clearwater's reporting in a teacher. 40% of the kids are wearing pajama bottoms. Yeah, and if we dress coded all of them for pajama bottoms, no one would be in class. That's all the administration would do all day. So we have to pick our battles. Have you asked the kids why are you wearing pajama bottoms? Yes, I have, and their thing is I didn't feel like getting dressed or they're comfortable or aren't they cute. They didn't fly in Catholic um, school, I say, buddy. well, that's yeah. a violation of dress code, and they're like, I don't care. Yeah, how that's is it great. a violation of dress code if it meets the length requirements? Yeah. Well, now, because of this problem, it's actually been added to the dress code. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Yep. All uh, right, Marianne, what do you teach, by the way? Special ed. Uh, thank you yeah. for your service to the, the childrens of Pinellas County. Say hi to Ed for me. Thank you. Uh, See, when I went to Catholic school, MJ, I fest. used to put on... <laughs> special Ed. Was yeah. there a guy in Radio named Special Ed? Yeah, yeah there was. He, yeah. he was on Wild, and then he was. Um, I worked with him. Okay, I don't need his yeah. whole history. Yeah. All right, so what, what are you saying, Froggy? I forgot. Really. I think you mumbled something over the caller. I had no idea what you said. I'm sorry. All I right. suck at this. <laughs> We're not very talented. All right, all right two more calls quickly. <laughs> John's in Tampa. John, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, we're doing well. Hi, John. The uh, big thing is uh, airports as well. Pillows and airports. Yeah. Oh, you're so yes. right, John. Good one. Good you one. You know what? I've seen this. I'm flying yes. out today. I'm going to be on a flight uh, to Boston uh, right after the show. And you know what? If I see people in pajamas, I'm going to surreptitiously, sneakily take their picture. I'm going to post a whole series. Of the you know what? I'm going to walk the airport. Don't do that. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to walk the yeah. airport and take pictures of people in pajamas at the airport and post it on my Instagram later at Certified MJ Radio. You will miss your flight. There's yeah. going to be so many people. Uh, Hashtag. Well, you won't be surprised for yeah. sure. All right, now, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, do it. I'm going to secretly okay. snap. Yeah, yeah. I might get into a fight if someone sees me. You know. Yeah. Roxanne's getting fired. She's like, do it. Yeah, no, I want to see it. Hashtag right. PJTPA. Flashback to <laughs> when I used to work as an accountant, and I would travel Monday through Friday. If you got on a plane during the work week, everyone on the flight was wearing a business suit, oh, shoulder geez. pads, yes. briefcase, yeah. tie. Oh, I thought you were going to say everyone's wearing pajamas. So back, back in the day. Back in the day. Yeah. And now it's pajamas yeah. at the airport. All right, folks, give me a follow on Certified MJ Radio, and if I see pajamas at the airport, I'm going to take pictures and post them later this You're morning. You're going to. Certified MJ Radio. Give me a follow on Instagram. Thanks, John. Anything else? All right. You guys have a great time. You too. Thank you. All right. Quickly, Lori and Bradenton, last call on this. Lori, pajamas. Yeah. What is going on? Why are people wearing these out in public? Um, well, I'm a high school teacher sitting in my parking lot right now getting ready to walk in, and um, at least... A third of the kids walking in front of me right now are wearing them. This is crazy. So we've had now reports from Manatee County. We had uh, Pinellas County, Polk County, and teachers and parents are, are looking at all the kids wearing pajamas to school right now. Yeah, they're, they, they're in my class. But here's the thing that I kind of try to look at it. If they were wearing leggings, they're tight. They're not really appropriate. My kids, at least, that are coming in, they're long pants. They're flannel. They have elastic waist. They're not going to fall down. No. They're not showing underwear and the things that we don't want them to show. 
and growing up in the 80s, we used to wear plaid pants all the time. They don't look a whole lot different. All right. Too appropriate. All right. So it sounds like mm-hmm. you're okay with it. Thank you, Lori. Thanks for being a teacher. Appreciate it. You know what, though? All right, when we get back, and just hold on to that yeah. thought. When we get back, we're going to give away, uh, watch the time. All right. When we get back, uh, we have, uh, what, what was that? It just says the guy who's always late. Well, I'm, I'm because I mean, we took calls and now I got to. Roxanne's 10 second I, time I, is I, not going to throw yeah, off the whole show. Exactly. I don't want to extend it. All right. What were we going to say, Roxanne? Go I was on. just going to say it takes away the fun. The whole fun of pajamas is when oh, you. Oh, damn it. Now we're off schedule, okay, okay. Roxanne. What Forget are you it. doing? I'm, I'm going to do it on the Roxanne oh, podcast. MJ, we are so mid-days, late right now. Mid-days, hear what oh, I think about God. pajamas. Go, <laughs> go.